always remember to cleanse the area before you apply any products to the skin. This is particularly important for areas like the underarms as they can be quite warm. So make sure that you use the blue lotion on a cotton pad to cleanse the area before you apply any oil. A little bit of oil and then you're ready to go with your wax. Always look at the direction of hair growth for underarm waxing as some clients the hair may vary in the direction that it grows or the amount of hair so you may need to do various sections of waxes. Depending on the amount of body hair that the client has this will determine the number of strips that you need to apply to this area. The wax that I'm using here is the men's wax. I prefer this because it sets up quite quickly. It's applied at a slightly lower temperature so it's perfect for these sort of areas where the skin can be quite sensitive and reactive. Underarm waxing for men is not one of the most popular treatments but in the summer months a lot of guys do prefer to be hair free in this area. After underarm waxing, just make sure that you give your client the correct aftercare advice so that they don't go off and start spraying antiperspirants or deodorants on the skin which has just been freshly waxed. At the end of the waxing treatment, make sure that you cleanse with a little bit of oil to remove any little bits of residual wax that are stuck to the skin. Remove the oil with some of the blue lotion and then apply some post waxing product to the skin afterwards. Here I've used a combination of refreshing gel and moisturizing milk.